Hey guys, it's Andrea. I'm back with another Sew With Me for the Farm Girl Vintage 2 Quilt by Lori Holt. Today we're going to be making the Evening Star Block. We're going to do it in six and a half inches because that's what she's done on the front. I'm going by what she's doing. She does offer instructions for the six inch block or the six and a half inch block however you want to do it. I already got my pieces cut up, some of which I pulled from my stash boxes. If you're not aware, this month only, I have a 15% off code to Missouri Star Quilt Company who's celebrating Earth Day by talking about and showing how do you use your scraps, how do you store your scraps, etc., and so forth. Many ways I do. When I'm making quilts, I pulled from my stash to get several of these pre-cut sizes that I save. I save one and a half blocks, two and a half blocks, um, five inch blocks, and jelly strips. And what I do with those a lot, like here you'll see when I'm sewing this quilt, I do quilt on the side using my scrappies. Do this as lenders and enders. This is the finished block after many, 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 many cycles of sewing. I'm always sewing something on the side with my scraps. I'm always cutting my scraps as well as I go. Like when I cut the fabric for this, you know, I went ahead and used the extra pieces to size up to my two and a half and my one and a half inch squares as I went. So let's get started. I'm gonna link Missouri Star down below if you guys wanna take advantage of that fantastic coupon. I highly recommend it. Now, I just label my fabric like this with my alphabeties and my wonder clips so I can pull and sew. All right, let's get started. There's a cable hanging from this phone charging it. I'm afraid I'm going to keep hitting it the whole time and rocking, y'all. Let me go ahead and unplug it. Hope you don't get motion sick. Okay, first up, we're gonna take the B blocks. We're making four of these, and I've got four pieces. And we're gonna be attaching that to our C and our H. Can you see that? Yep. So first, of course, we have to do the bottom ones. And then once we have all those sewn, we can attach it to the top strip. For this quilt, I'm using Farm Girl Vintage line by Lori as well. It's what she also uses in the pictures and the illustrations. I'm pretty much choosing the same ones she did. Sometimes I mix it up. Like I was out of the green fabric that she uses on this, so I used a different green. You can make, you can make it any way you want, of course. Lori's patterns are almost always perfect for scrappy quilts. And her lines are very scrappy. And they pretty much all go together. You can mix and match just about any of her lines, sans the Christmas one. And you're not really going to be able to tell that it's from different lines. You know what I mean? Okay, I got those four done. I mean, go ahead on with my chain piecing before I cut those off. So next up, we have this A block and F. Dang it. <laughs> I have two F's and I can't get them apart. There we go. Dang it. Okay. Save the other F. Put right sides together. And we're going to sign. We're going to be sewing. We're making two triangles out of this. So I'm not going to sew down the middle. I'm going to sew a fourth of an inch to the side of down the middle. So using my little seam guide here, 
This way I don't have to mark my fabric because I'm just lining it up with the seam guide. That's what I use this for. Just lining my point up on that fourth inch line. Now we're going to do the same thing with F and G. Oh, I mixed up my red print too. I picked a different red print. Same thing, fourth of an inch from the center. If you don't have a seam guide, just draw your line from corner to corner and sew a fourth of an inch from it. The seam guide just kind of saves you an extra step. And I believe it's called Lori Holt's Seam So Easy Guide if you want to look it up. Use your 15% off coupon. Here's my scrap as you go quilt ready to be trimmed. So I'm going to go ahead and do that too. Set that to the side to be ironed. This, I'm going to go ahead and sew on the other, the fourth of an inch on the other side. So I'm just flipping it over, doing the other way. Wait, whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie doopsie. I was just sewing the exact same line again. Now. And that's how you get two half square triangles out of one block. Okay, I'm going to iron this first step open and then we'll sew it to this strip. Now these will go together. Why, why is this so long? Did I cut these? Look at... <laughs> I did something. Let me double check my cutting. One and a half by two and a half. Oh yeah, I definitely overcut. Let me fix that real quick. Silly mama. So I can do it all at one time. Okay. Whoops, you don't see. Now, let's try that again. They should fit now. Yep. Perfect. squares off. Now you can just cut them apart. Go right down the center of your two seams to cut the two blocks apart. Hmm. I'm going to have to 
to size these down. We'll see. Let me iron them open. Okay, now these are supposed to measure three and one eighth. Let's see how they. Three and one eighth. I can't stand that measurement. Come on now, will you give me a one eighth? And flip the ruler this this way so I can see the line through the middle to actually line up my half square. Uh, it's practically perfect. Yay me. All right, take your square. Let's see. We're going to be doing this again. This one. Outside facing layer an inner half square triangle with an outer half square triangle unit. Make sure they are turned so that the seams are in the same direction. But it doesn't tell you which way. Okay, I think it's this way. The seams are in the same direction. Gosh, I hope I'm doing this right. Okay. Now, stitch a fourth of an inch from each side of the drawn line. It looks like we're going to be sewing this way. So when it opens up, it's going to look like that. Now these little blocks, I'll iron them and set them to the side. Oh, here I am doing the same freaking one again. Now, once again, cut down the middle of your seam line. And that's how she looks. Iron this. Iron these. Make four. What do you mean, make four? Make four? I only made two. Oh, <laughs> it's still under my needle. Lord help me. I worry about myself sometimes. Lord have mercy. All right, I'm just ironing these little pieces over here real quick before I go on. I'll wait and pull that off after I've got something else under the needle so I can chain piece. But here's these. Let me see how these are measuring up. I hope they're this a square like this would be very difficult to trim. 
so I hope it's right. Two and a half it's supposed to measure up. Oh my lord, it's measuring three. I always struggle with cutting these down. You can't just do one side or then your thing's gonna be all off. It has to be like a little from each side. Let me see, I'm gonna find a two and a half inch square of ruler. That's what I'll do. Let me find that out of my stash. I know I got them. Okay, see? It's got the lines on there, so I just line up my seams with that, and then I'll trim around. I love square up rulers, man. They are a life saver. And this is the time when it's convenient to have a little spinner mat. I do like it when we can, I, well, let me clarify about hard to square these up. I do prefer it if we need to square them up because then you, then you fix all your imperfections. Your squares, you know, are like perfect. So I kind of like it when blocks are oversized and need sizing. Another way to make sure everything's great. Everything is the same. Look, they got a little off there. That's all right. Here I come to save the day. Y'all remember Mighty Mouse? Oh my gosh, is that it? This is what an easy block. Now we just gotta start putting them all together. I'll go ahead and do the top row so then I can pull that out. So the top is this block, this block, and this block positioned just so. I love it when things line up perfectly. So satisfying. It doesn't happen to me all the time. <laughs> now and cut this guy off and repeat the process. And you can iron these seams open, she recommends, so you don't have a big lug, lug of a seam in the middle, big lump. Then we're gonna square square these up too. Now please excuse my nails looking so awful. I've got cuts on my fingertips and I'm scared to go because that phenol polish remover to soak this dip polish will set me on fire. So I'm waiting for him to heal up a little bit. They're not going to last much longer. There are, the polish is already peeling off. can make the bottom oh we can make the middle one too just make the middle it's this piece the D and this piece And then the 
bottom one, this guy, this guy, this guy, like so. to our middle Okay. And now we can put our rows together. Pull that off. And I'm centering that middle piece best I can. measuring up so far. Literally and figuratively, it should be at six and a half inches. Gosh, 
even that hot iron burns my fingers. My finger cuts. Oh, she's not bad. She's pretty near perfect. Got a little over here. Okay. We still have to put on our green corners. So that's going to be E block. So we're just snowballing it basically with the four green blocks. So it right down the middle, corner to corner. Well, I'm gonna be using a lot of leaders and enders on this block. Did I not cut enough of these? I think I'm missing a block. I only cut three? I was supposed to cut four. Whoops. Maybe there's some on my scrap pile. There actually is. <laughs> scrap pile for the win. Some of the blocks in this quilt are just so easy, like this one, and some are so involved. So you've got a good variety. Usually the ones that make a picture, a specific picture, are very involved. But then she throws in some traditional blocks as well. Mixes it up. Spices it up. This block's finished, man. This one, too. Do it as you go. Work on your scraps and stuff as you go. It's much more productive. Just iron in these. To set them to the side and start in a new. Get out the way, move, get out the way. One more corner. Now we should be able to pull our block off and she'll be finished. Evening star block. Okay, we're just going to trim each of these corners about a fourth of an inch from the stitch line. Iron it. And we'll be done, man. Okay. What do you think? I 
think it looks super cute. I love it. I love this block. Fantastic. Give me a thumbs up, guys, if you like the video. Subscribe if you like to watch Sew With Me's. I'll see y'all at the next one.